Oh man, I don't know what to say, man. Phantom has gone absolutely crazy. And look, the percentage move up 16, 17%, which we're going to cover today, is phenomenal. But what's shocking me is Bitcoin is down 1.5% today. And truly, this decoupling, which we were probably the first channel to speak of, guys, here on this channel, this temporary decoupling, which I was speaking about, has occurred. I noticed the pattern. I shared it with you guys that layer one solutions have started to move in an uncorrelated way to Bitcoin. Bitcoin was having these, you know, weird moments and old coins, these particularly these layer one solutions, which we were covering on this channel, really started to head to the down, to the upside. And I made you guys aware of this pattern and told you I was making moves around that pattern. Um, and it's very interesting to see this play out. This is, this is phenomenal. Uh, and we're gonna cover this on the chart as first, you can see here, Bitcoin still struggling around this price floor, sitting at 46,400, which is, you know, again, this price floor, which we've tested so many times, one, two, three, four, five, six times just here in the recent history, dating back to the 13th of December. And now you've got the market wondering, okay, are we heading down some more? I've been talking about this for a while that, you know, we, we may even get tests all the way down uh, past these levels here here at 43 and a half and then i mentioned 41 here and then the, even the top of the wedge here at about 40,000 guys so these are some of the levels we can see in the short term because bitcoin keeps failing on its targets to the upside because remember we said in order to get out of this mess we really need to get above 49 and a half and then through the 52,000 level which we got rejected from so hard now the only pattern i can see us trying to form to the upside is somewhat of a w pattern if we can form a w pattern here uh, along the neckline from about here um, then that could be some way of us getting up. And I'm really just clutching at straws right now because the market's in fear. I can't see any technical patterns suggest we're going to the upside. So unless some sort of fundamental catalyst comes in, uh, it's going to be very difficult for us to reverse this pattern. And it may take a long time for us to reverse this pattern. Now, what does that mean for some of our favorite altcoins? Well, the reality is it's not seemed to bother Phantom, right? And we're going to head over straight now into the Phantom charts. And whilst I pull that up, guys, don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe, and let me know how well you're doing on your Phantom position in the comments below because we've been covering this for many many months guys we were probably the first youtube channel here covering phantom so religiously uh, from a technical and fundamental perspective so do let me know in the comments below how you're doing on your phantom position or if you're somebody that wants to enter a phantom position but just don't know how to comment below as well we'll talk about that today in this video as well so look at this chart here on phantom guys compared to usdt and you can see here look we were in this downward wedge when bitcoin was in this downward wedge we broke to the upside but then phantom just went on an absolute roar now if i was to take out my measuring tool from the wick down here guys let's take it from this in fact let's make this one more realistic because you had more of a chance to buy in this at the bottom of this wedge here where you had quite a while to pick some up so from 124 all the way up to where we've just wicked here at the Fibonacci level, you're looking at over 140% move here in uh, a very short amount of time here on Phantom. I mean, that's just from in a couple of weeks, right? From the 15th of December or so. Phenomenal move here to the upside. And this is why it's very, very difficult to time the market on crypto. You know on this channel, I always give everybody the advice, find your high conviction plays, start dollar cost averaging into them and build the position in which you're comfortable with in terms of size. Something you're willing to lose, a, a calculated part of your portfolio, and then dollar cost average that in. You can't time this. If you were trying to be a smart Alec and you you know thought, okay, this is a low point on Phantom, I'm just gonna take my money out, put it somewhere else for a little bit, and then re-enter when we start moving, you would have missed this move, right, in a period of two weeks. Um, so, so you've got to be very careful here. And what we're seeing now here on the four hourly is again another beautiful retest of our EMA ribbon, which we've been speaking about. We spoke about this here when we're in between our golden pocket, we got rejected from the top of the pocket. If I show you that, that was sitting at the 0.65 line. So we broke through the 0.618 at 253. The 0.65 uh, sent us back down at the 2.6 level, but then the beautiful bounce back off the EMA ribbon here at 237 sent us then for our next run. And you remember I said in our next run, we need to get to the next Fibonacci line, which worked perfectly there at the 2.958 mark, right? And that sent us back down. We wick there and we got rejected back down shortly. And this is where I'm gonna tell you what I think is gonna happen next. So stay tuned to the very end guys because what i think is going to happen here is we got rejected from our two point uh call it 2.95 line here on the fibonacci now what's normal to happen here is for us to get a little bit of a calling down now if we get a little bit of calling down the good news we've got here is we've got a, a few confluence area points for us so you can see here this a bounce from about here at 265 will not only be our 0.65 Fibonacci level, it'd also be the top of our EMA ribbon. It's also the previous high from the high before. So this would be perfect textbook technical analysis if we came back down, got a retest, and then went for another higher high. 
beautiful upward trend here on Phantom. And this is, you know, just perfect textbook stuff from here. But, this, but the crazy surprising thing is all of this move is happening whilst Bitcoin is just struggling. I mean, this is a phenomenal move for Phantom, but I do want to, you know, I do want to be the person that is always cautious in the moments of excitement. Because right now I'm sensing the excitement. You guys know we cover Phantom for a long period of time. Those of you who've been watching this channel for a while, and we can just sense the energy is different. We're getting new people uh, finding Phantom, which is fantastic, but that energy is chasing green candlesticks. So we need to be very careful. And if you're new here and you, you've heard about Phantom just now recently, and you want to enter a position, my advice, and it's not financial advice, is you don't chase these pump candles, right? You don't chase these pumps. You wait for smart retracements. and. Uh, that would be my advice right now. You can see how steep this move is to the upside. Uh, personally, I would not be chasing this pump right now. I'd be waiting off for calling off levels at Fibonacci levels. Uh, you know, For example, if you had $10,000 to allocate, you'd wait for a retracement down to the 0.65 level. Maybe you put it in a little bit, you wait for another retracement to 0.618, and if it gets to the 0.5 level, you enter a little bit more, right? And that way you're allocating your position at different price points. So fun, uh, beautiful chart here on Phantom. If I switch over to the daily as well, you can see here on the daily, this is just crazy extension on the daily ribbon. Uh, massive move here all the way from two, uh, 125 all the way up to almost $3 here. Now, we got like I said, we got rejected from the 2.96 mark here on the Fibonacci, but I fully expect us to get a little bit of a calling down, perhaps even down to 2.6. Maybe we can curl, curl around back to the upside a little bit quicker, and then we need to head to our next target. So my next target now, which is beautiful, is once we've cleared the 2.9 mark, I'd want to see a retest. So for example, this is what we got left here. A retest here. I then want to break the 2.95 mark clearly and then get a retest. Then I want to go for all-time highs. So you can see how that's going to work, guys. There's going to be a little bit of swaying and throwing to the up and down side for us to head higher to all-time highs, okay? So we, we want to break through a level. We want to retest that level. We then want to break that previous high and then we want to keep repeating that cycle. But big caveat, we need to make sure we keep an eye on Bitcoin because even though we're seeing this decoupling right now, can it continue? I mean, right now, Bitcoin's down 1.5% and Phantom has moved 16%. Can that happen again and again and again? If Bitcoin went down 3%, would we still see that? If Bitcoin went down 5%, will that shake the market? It's crazy because, you know, the fear and greed index is showing that we are at extreme fear right now. We're sitting here at extreme fear at 23. That is crazy. Um, and yet we're still seeing all coins, certain all coins pump double digit figures, right? Much more than 10%. This is crazy. We need to keep an eye on this and we need to be very cautious. I don't want to be, you know, the spoil sport and, and the Grinch, right? But uh, we need to keep an eye on this because if I show you right now, you can see here, Bitcoin down 1.5%, Ethereum down 1.2%, Binance going 3%, Tether flat, obviously, uh, Solana down 3%, interestingly, because that's a layer one solution as well, but it's obviously had its run up, right? Cardano flat, uh, XRP flat, you've got Terra down 6%, retracing slightly, Avalanche down 6%, uh, Polygon down 2.7%. So how can this continue? Because you still got Algorand up 5%, you've got Chainlink up 6%, Near Protocol up 16%, Cosmos up another 5%, which we'll cover uh, later, and then obviously Phantom up 16%. This is crazy, um, and I fully do expect a little bit of a calling off back to our Fibonacci levels before we can head higher. So we need to keep an eye on that. Um, but overall, just if you're in Phantom, fantastic. You know, I'm holding my position and I'm not going to panic. Even if we get a retracement down, it doesn't bother me, right? It's a long-term hold for me. Even if we call off with Bitcoin decides to tank 10% or go down to 40,000 or even lower, then I, I personally feel Phantom at that point will start retracing because the market will get very, very, very worried. Um, but at that point, you know, you, I have high conviction I won't be selling anything at that point. Would I be chasing this right now to add to my position? No, I wouldn't be at this point. I want to wait for a retracement. And then I just as I discussed, would be looking to nibble in at certain smart levels here as opposed to chasing this through to all time highs. This is where you let people come in and FOMO. The smart purchases are done here as we covered on this channel and here and these moments happen all the time we'll get another one we'll get more opportunities of this and it's all about being patient being strategic being non-emotional having your plans carefully laid out on a post-it note and then executing against that so if you've not entered phantom right now don't panic wait for the right moments if you're in phantom already comment below your entry so i know how you guys are getting on uh, and when you manage to find these videos and how you entered comment that below so we can uh, see that and that'd be good to see but overall great day for phantom uh, and no complaints here. One more thing I do want to show you is let's take a quick look at the VPVR. 
because this is what we were talking about, right? We knew there's a whole bunch of volume here at this level. And once we cleared that, you can see the volume becomes less and less. So it's easier for us to get bigger uh, bigger moves to the upside. But equally, remember, that can also mean bigger plummets to the downside as well. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this update on Phantom. As always, if you appreciate this, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to help out this channel a little bit more, guys. Consider hitting the join button. That will give you That's your way of supporting me to help me bring these videos to you. But also, you'll get access to our community thread. And there, you'll be able to ask me questions on your favorite coins your favorite crypto your portfolio and i'll get back to you straight away on there also guys don't forget the link to our pinned discord a uh, free public discord server and that'll be in the pinned comment below so make sure you head over into there meet like-minded people so many smart people there over 350 members in there now almost um sharing great content around crypto sharing charting patterns sharing news articles sharing which coins they're looking at uh, so make sure you head into there tag me with any questions meet the community ask questions make yourself familiar and uh, surely it'll be a tool for you to help you navigate this volatile and crazy world that is crypto but which is so rewarding and will help you build financial wealth hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one